What's up guys, Colton that tech guy here and today I'm here with a comparison of the 5th generation iPod Touch on my left to the 4th generation iPod Touch on my right. Um, so we're going to be looking at a lot of things um, between these two devices, but first we're going to be looking at the design and the hardware. So just by flipping the devices over, you can see the major design change from the 4th generation to the 5th generation. The 4th generation model is powered by the A4 chip, and we have a 3.5 inch display, um, and we have this chrome backing on it, which uh, got scuffed up and scratched pretty easily just by taking it out of the package for the first time. And then on the 5th generation model, it's powered by the A5 chip, we have... Um, a nice 4 inch IPS display which is really nice to look at compared to the older model and on the back we have this nice anodized aluminum uh, backing um, with this really nice finish hopefully to um, avoid from scuffs and things like that um, and for the first time we have a uh, major um, color change so uh, with the fifth generation model you have the choice of getting um, either pink, blue, silver, black, um, yellow, or product red on the back. And then with the older model, you just had the choice of switching the front plate from either um, white or black. And also, um, a major thing to note is that with the fifth generation model, um, it is much lighter and thinner than the fourth generation. So probably one of the major differences is the better camera on the back and the front. With the uh, fifth generation iPod Touch, we get this um, 5 megapixel eyesight camera capable of shooting um, 1080p video. And then on the um, front, we have a 720p uh, FaceTime HD camera capable of taking 1.2 megapixel stills. And then in the uh, new gen or old generation, my bad, um, on the back we just had a camera with uh, 720p video recording um, and took uh, below one megapixel stills. And then on the front we have um, our uh, front-facing camera, which just took VGA quality uh, photos and videos. So both iPods do run iOS 6, which gives you a pretty uh, fluid um, operating system when operating through the home page. You can see it's pretty fast on both generations, but you will definitely see the uh, lagging behind on the uh, older model compared to the newer model when launching um, apps on a daily basis or even graphic intensive games. So I'm going to be doing that for you guys. I'm just going to be running some... Um, apps you'd probably run every day like Safari and things like that, the iTunes store, and then probably run some graphic intensive games and see how they load on both of them. So first up we're going to launch Safari. So you can see the fourth generation just took a little bit longer to uh, load that up. Let's go to the Apple store. You can see the fourth generation was actually faster on that. So you can see the fifth generation was much faster on that one. Still loading, but you can see it's pretty much already has the uh, page loaded up. And there we go. Still loading up, but you can see by the uh, status bar that the uh, fifth generation is faster than the fourth generation. So next up, I'm going to launch iTunes. See the fifth generation much faster on that. And then the fourth generation. Next up, I'm going to be launching the camera. So you can see the 5th generation is just faster than the 4th generation. So next up I'm going to be launching a couple of games. And first off I'm going to start off with the uh, graphic intensive Infinity Blade 2. Even still after I close that out, 
the fourth generation is still loading. And this just uh, left off uh, where I was in the game. And this is the first time I'm running it on this one, so that might be why. But next up, we're going to be launching Angry Birds Star Wars, which isn't as graphic intensive, but still is. And this is the first time that I'm running these on both devices, just to give it fair game. So you can see the fifth generation much faster. So let's close out of that. And then lastly, we are going to be launching uh, Modern Combat 4, which was actually just released to the App Store this week. Um, it's a great game, really graphic intensive, so let's launch that. So you can see it's already loaded on the fifth generation. It is still uh, pretty much yet to load in the fourth. It's just now loading the logos, and there it goes. So you can see the fifth generation is definitely much faster than the fourth generation when it comes to loading uh, apps or really graphic intensive games. So the fifth generation I feel like is definitely the way to go if you want to uh, play games on it all day. So overall I don't think you'll be very disappointed if you were to get um, either of these devices, the 4th over the 5th, or the 5th over the 4th. Definitely one thing to consider is the price entry point of both of them. Um, I believe this starts at around um, $250, and then this starts around $300. So, based on that, uh, you'll, uh, you'll want to see. I actually believe this starts at $199 with 16 gigabytes. So, you definitely want to take that into consideration. Um, definitely the 5th generation is much more powerful than the 4th, but the 4th is still um, pretty fast compared to other um, MP3 gaming devices out there. So I'm going uh, to be leaving you guys um, with uh, the running of Geekbench 2 on both of them, and it also tells you um, that both of these are running iOS 6.0.1. Um, this is the A4 compared to the A5. And the 4th generation has 249 megabytes of memory, and the 5th generation has 504 megabytes of memory. So that is something that Apple doesn't tell you, and will definitely show in the Geekbench scores. So I'm going to be leaving this um, going at the end of the video. Definitely leave a comment down below if there's anything you want to see done um, with either the 4th generation, the 5th generation, or the iPhone 5, which I just got. So, definitely leave a comment down below if there's anything like that you want. Um, check out my channel if there's any videos on that. Um, also, subscribe to my channel. It really helps the channel out. So, um, I'm going to be running this, and I'll uh, see you again in the next video. Thanks, guys.